Measuring groceries is easy. Just put the bag on a scale and read how much the gravity pulls on the potatoes inside. But how to measure the force of a jet engine or a space rocket engine that could have a thrust of more than 900 tons? Many private and government laboratories have instruments for measuring large forces, but in order to read those forces correctly, they have to be calibrated. In the U.S., that is done at the National Institutes for Science and Technology with a huge stack of dead weights, themselves calibrated to a very precise weight. Through the art and procedure of the calibration work, the standard forces are then placed upon a unit under test, and our customer or the owner of the device receives uh, the amount of output from his device under that particular applied force. This recently restored three-story tall stack of stainless steel discs is the heaviest dead weight in the world, weighing one million pounds or almost 500 tons. Nineteen discs, each weighing more than 22.5 tons, are loosely linked together so that the hydraulic equipment on the top can lift them one at a time. That way, the total weight pressuring the sample or the instrument being calibrated can be slowly increased and won't exceed the force it can handle. Applying dead weight at a sample of the tested material or to the force measuring instrument deforms the piece and that change is registered by attached electronic elements. Industry can absolutely obtain the very best force calibrations they can if they want to monitor something that, that requires uh, very, very highly accurate force measurements such as engine thrust, uh, strength of materials and that kind of thing. Increasingly powerful computers and sophisticated software have started taking away some of the tasks performed by the deadweight machines. It is already possible to create mathematical models of different materials and calculate their deformations under strain. We simulate them in the computer essentially by applying forces to them in the same way that you might in an experimental apparatus to see how they respond to that stress. Using computer models, scientists can also combine a large number of ingredients in order to test new composite materials and see how they respond to stress. But once used for building an actual object, such as an airplane wing, the material has to be tested again, and this time with a stress measuring instrument most likely calibrated with a huge dead weight at NIST. George Putich, VOA News. Washington.